I'm like, oh, you don't have that. Yeah, with a Bluetooth included, I, f I think that it's possible that you find it. It's not included. So that's what I want to talk about. We can do stuff with our cell phones. We can do pen tests with our cell phones. We can a lot of issues in the security of cell phones. So, but why cell phones? When I think, well, we're gonna attack with a cell phone. I think it's so sexy, you know? It's like a James Bond. I think you can catch some girls with that. You know, you take your cell phone, got some administrative system privilege in your cell phone. Oh man, it's, it's awesome. Besides that, we have softwares. All softwares in the world. Uh, in the internet, you can find softwares for Symbian, for Blackberry, for Windows Mobile, for iPhone, for everything. You can find it easily. It, this, this tends to grow each time more. Because I think that our cell phone is our first computer. You know, everything wor everyone works in, in cell phones. We, you read mail, you access the internet, maybe close a VPN, you do everything in a cell phone. The second thing about, it's uh, about the hardware. Have you, have you seen the, the iPod Touch, for example, we have a 500 megahertz in a, in a, in a thing like that, you know? I had a computer, um, I don't know, five years, five years ago, that it's not, it's not, it's not fast like a, an iPhone, an iPod. The new, the new iPhone, I think that's 600 megahertz with two, 256 megabytes of RAM. So it's not too much for, for us now. But think in the past, when you had, you have to make some, some pen tests, you have to make some attacks for your company, you have to work with it, and you had something like that, and all you, you can have in your pockets. So the other thing that end users, uh, end, end, end user phones like, uh, I don't know, maybe with not a, a complex system like uh, Symbian and this, you, uh, you still have Java and wireless connection, and maybe Bluetooth, I think Bluetooth is better than the wireless. So, you will see in the next slides that you can do a lot of stuff with these ones too. Uh, so, is that? Ah, and another thing. It's discrete. I think you can hack inside the terminator and no, he won't note that you are doing that. If somebody will stay with your notebook playing a solitaire and you are hacking with your cell phone, Everybody will call him, not you. And in some place that you are doing a pen test, uh, you can carry a, a notebook, you know? You can enter in that company with uh, a laptop. So it's easy to hide. You can, or not hide, because the people, no, it's just my cell phone, right? I'm not causing anything. I, I will not cause anything. It's just a cell phone. It's like that. If one, when you are texting, it's socially acceptable. If you are just testing, nobody will destroy it about you. It's common. He's just testing, right? Uh, I, I told you. I think that's it. Uh, here it's uh, a new from the Hack in the Box site. It's about the the new Nokia N900 that I, I didn't touch anyone, but I think that was awesome to hack. And uh, just for illustrate, well, here I have my little toys. It's a Nokia E65 with Symbian S90. And uh, I have an iPod Touch with a Mac OS X. That's those one who will play tonight, today. And how? The interesting thing about the, this presentation is 
how we can do that? First of all, we have Unix, uh, Unix system in uh, Android, in OpenMoco, in uh, Symbian, in iPhone. So we have uh, Unix stability, we have good compilers, we have a great shell. So with plus everything we have, a, we, have, we still have the SDK for everything. Every vendor has SDK for you making your software. The other things, the other thing that's interesting about that, that's because you can take regular, regular, and common softwares like uh, uh, for network, for VPN, that's I talked about, and mix that and make an attack or check something or do some stuff that you're not usually to do. So we, I will show you today that uh, if I don't have any hacking tool installed on my installed on my phone, even I I I can hack something. And for sure, we have a lot of hacking tools that are done to mobile, uh, mainly Bluetooth attacks, and uh, yeah, a lot of softwares that was were ported from regular computers uh, to mobile. And, and of course, we still have Wi-Fi connection. We thought with Wi-Fi connection, we can do anything else. That's because it's, a, it's our bridge to a local, uh, a local network, right? <laughs> uh, let me see if I f forgot something. Yeah. So, in the... In the next slides, I will show you the pen test steps. So, I had some some T-shirts from Hackers to Hackers Conference. What is the first step of pen test? You win a a T-shirt. Nobody, just to, what's the first? Uh, that's right. Here he goes. So, we said that it's information gating. So, in cell phones we have this. We have browsers, of course, we have Safari, we have Opera, we have Internet Explorer. Uh, we have almost all clients, all network clients like IDP, Telnet, FTP, Vance. So, just with Telnet, that's uh, a soft connection. We we can see uh, many things if you're hacking. So, if you're going to, I don't know, to a client. I'm just saying client. It's, it's not. It's our target, you know. And we have we have as well port scanners. Simply done in any language, you know, you can, you can make one just with connect or see if connect, but we have any map up and running in, in iPhone, so that's the any map running. Uh, it's normal, regular, nothing changing from the version installed in your backtrack. The second step. Is it scanning? Uh, I just couldn't run uh, this software that's Nikito. I think that everyone here knows. It's a uh, scanner for Gunabits in web. So that's I think important here. That's it's made in pure. I think so. And all script languages always work. If you uh, pure uh, Python. Bash, so it will work. It's not necessary to port something to to a mobile. It's just work. Even Python. The the third the third step is exploiting. So I think that's a long concept about that. That we can 
You can do a server side or a client side.